So my name is uh, Father Ben. I serve in uh, St. John and Sipia, our Lady of Divine Mercy Shrine. I'm in the team with Father Jiranki Kikurui, who joined us in September of last year. Today was a great day because we witnessed the commissioning of uh, 76 CMA members and 38 CWA members, an occasion that was presided over by His Lordship, the Bishop of Bonn. So, Bishop, you are most welcome to our parish. We can never have enough of you. Karim Shai. Thank you very much, Father Ben, for welcoming me to the parish of uh, Saint John and Sylvia, the shrine of uh, Divine Mercy. Karim uh, The year has just begun, and uh, as our father, what message do you have for us and for the traditioners of this part of the diocese? Yes, this being the very first month of this year, 2024, we first of all thank God for the graces that he continues to shower upon uh, us, his people, and uh, for the gift of this uh, everything is taken uh, in the spirit of gratitude because we know the source of all good things. Uh, as um, a country, we've had uh, quite some challenges in the last year, and uh, I want to believe and hope that this year will be better than last year in terms of uh, uh, the economy and uh, on the politics of the day. Uh, I hope things will be better. And uh, this is the message that I continue to give our people. But uh, I have a bleak sometimes, a few things may look. Uh, we as people of faith look on the brighter side and can only hope that God will always accompanies his people uh, as he did with the Israelites. He will always accompany them. He will always accompany us in moments of uh, challenges, of difficulties. Uh, many times in the desert, the Israelites felt uh, hungry and thirsty, but the Lord fed them. And then, uh, uh, in the area of pastoral work, uh, looking at the, the programs that we have, uh, I, I foresee a year full of activities of um, baptisms and confirmations and uh, uh, apostolate groups and uh, associations such as uh, CMA, CWA, uh, YCWU, uh, YCS, our PMC. Um, so I foresee a year that is going to be pastorally uh, active. And um, I can only wish our diocese uh, uh, that spiritual and pastoral growth because evangelization is never static. Um, even where people have had the word of God, there is always room to re evangelize and to strengthen people's faith. This is a very special year. As you know, we started last year and we are celebrating the year of catechesis, which runs till uh, October this year. We celebrate that theme of catechesis, but there will be. Um, um, uh, the growth and deepening of people's faith, but areas where they did not understand the teachings of the church, even scriptural interpretations that they may have difficulties with, that we have an opportunity to, to seek uh, a proper interpretation and understanding of um, the Lord's word and also the teaching of the church of the church that uh, service will be handed over in the coming generation. Very much, the Lord Bishop. In July of 2021, 
you and his eminence, Cardinal Joy, came for the consecration of this parish, the shrine. We are about two and a half years old. I don't know what your impressions are for the past two and a half years and what future do you dream about this place of God? Yes, uh, without any flattery, I, I dare say that uh, the, the kind of uh, growth and the, the uh, diversity, the, the, the liveliness uh, that I see uh, already in a parish that is only two and a half years is truly uh, praiseworthy. Um, I must say that the, the, the leadership uh, beginning from the priests and uh, our lay leaders, you know, leaders of various uh, groups, associations, must have you know, contributed a lot to this cohesion, the unity that you see, the, the, the joy and the peace, and um, the heart of uh, uh, selflessness and readiness to, uh, to, to sacrifice for the growth of the church. I must say that I'm very, I'm very pleased with the progress that I've seen, uh, even the physical uh, structures that have been put up within two and a half years, and um, the, 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 the growth, the physical growth, and uh, only also that which one can see, one comes to the parish here and sees the life of God and the presence of God that must speak by and nothing makes a community uh, what it's wider than uh, detecting, tracing, experiencing the presence of God among the people. Uh, you see the, 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 the joy from the children, young people, the men and women, and um, I see a lot of uh, opportunities that uh, uh, this uh, parish has. As you know, it is not only a parish, but it's also a shrine. And so we hope that um, the remaining development to make it uh, a functioning uh, I mean, much more than, than now, more engaging with more space and and, and more facilities. Um, I, I believe that um, that will be done in time and will add value to, 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 to this place of prayer. So that people, not only from our diocese, but also from other dioceses, uh, can come and have their recollections, have their retreats, and then uh, have days of prayer. That is my my hope and my dream for this place. It's, uh, it's very quiet, and, uh, and thank God we want to do the, the quality of the church that was put up uh, will foster the purpose uh, of prayer and collection and uh, the services necessary to accompany uh, one who needs to make time uh, into God and for God. To which we shall put in our best and as always count on the grace of God. Yes. I finally something very unique happened in our diocese last year we had the joint celebrations of CMA and CW at our general levels and continuing with the same spirit of the um, United Family, we had a joint commissioning of CMA and CW members in our parish today. I don't know what message you have for the women and the men of our parish and by extension in the larger diocese of God. It was not by chance that God chose to, to have his son born in a family. I mean, God is almighty. 
could have done it any other way. But he chose a man and he had prepared an immaculate mother, woman, to, to be the mother for his son. And he let Jesus grow and experience uh, human life within a family. And so family is a very, very important setup uh, in any society. Uh, because that's the first unit of humanity, and, uh, and that is where uh, people learn the values and virtues which guide them um, as they grow up. And so, as a diocese, and for me as a shepherd of this diocese, I'm very happy to, to see that um, uh, members of these families are committing themselves, you know, as women and as men, to be able to be uh, instruments of uh, God's love and, and grace in, in their families. Now, as you have rightly said, for the first time last year, we decided to have uh, joint celebrations because when every year we have been meeting them, you know, parallel places, we meet men on their own and we met on their own. Um, we sincerely over the years so we are granted for work together. They can share their experiences, they can share their joys, they can share their, their challenges. And, uh, and also the message that uh, the church has for them, as a family, they can also receive together. And I'm really glad to, to uh, witness to this uh, this morning here at uh, St. John and Sylvia Parish, when uh, 74 men were commissioned and uh, 34 women were commissioned also seven women received into the parish, into the diocese, and two men also received. This is the way to go. I remember even as we had an opportunity to take photographs, um, those whose wives are not, uh, are not uh, seen as new member, uh, members, we are telling them, we'll come back, the commission. <laughs> so have a time to, to reflect on this, because it is also a special apostolate within the family, uh, within the church, and uh, within the society. That the values, the Christian values that they really they can share, promote, and uh, propagate, so that the the presence of Christ may be seen wherever they are and whatever they do. So I think this is one way of strengthening um, the family and. Um, I hope that what I've seen here at the beginning of the year, you uh, as the parish priest, together with those assisting you and all the leaders, will uh, uh, continue to give uh, importance to the family uh, as, as a very important unit in human society. Unfortunately, uh, there are so many challenges around in the family. Family is being targeted in many ways. Uh, even sometimes, you know, going to the extent of uh, extending it too much, trying to extend it to, 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 to include, uh, you know, other unions other than what God himself had intended, that uh, marriage is meant for a man, and a woman. Now there are these attempts to to to, um, to promote uh, not in not in so many words, but to to, to appear to, to 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 give it some uh, uh, recognition or to give sympathy. Uh, instead of, you know, 
calling people like that to conversion, praying for them and training them to change and embrace that which is according to uh, natural law and according to divine law that is as well by God. And one thing, last thing that I would wish to, 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 to be embraced by both men and women together is uh, the mentoring of the Holy Child. This is not only for, for fathers, mm. but also mothers. Because over the years, it was true that a girl child has always been empowered. And um, seemingly over the time, the boy child has remained behind and, and looks a bit shy and uh, uh, to some extent, you know, rejected. So what the, 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 the campaign that um, we are trying to make is with uh, a very fatherly heart, and it must be done with all the balance, without uh, admitting any extremes, not at the expense at all of the grandchild, but to also give attention to the boy child, because if the boy child is not mental, then it's not helped to understand what um, um, life uh, is about uh, today and tomorrow, and uh, its responsibility and its role uh, as a male in a society, uh, we may not expect uh, a very, very crazy harmonious and, uh, and development conscious uh, society. And so this will be my appeal to both. Both CMA and CWA to embrace this as a family to work towards empowering and mentoring the body. Thank you. Thank you very much, my Lord, for your dignified presence, your blessed presence among us. You have planted the seed, and now I'll teach you what this seed is going to grow into, like the mustard seed. The kingdom of God is here with us. God bless you.